Hello everybody, my name's James. So recently, the Helldiver team released a patch that nerfed the Railgun, and ever since then, it has made playing the higher difficulty so much more difficult because of the heavily armored enemies that spawn. Because of the nerf, I was looking for the best replacement for the Railgun, but it had to have high armor pin, high accuracy, high damage, and most importantly, it had to make a satisfying sound when it's fired. And the only gun that has all of that, the Auto Cannon. Taking a closer look at the autocannon, it's a shoulder-mounted artillery system that fires highly accurate shells that absolutely tear through the most heavily armored enemies. It functions a lot like a heavy rifle, with a lot of sway, but it hits like a truck and explodes on impact, so be careful where you aim it. The best way to think about the autocannon is like you're using a precise mini grenade launcher. Like a grenade, you can use it to close bug holes even from far distances, and even destroy bot fabricators by banking the shell off the vent so it ricochets into the building. The autocannon also has some unique mechanics, like how you can take out a spore spewer or a cell tower with a couple of shots, and you can be 400 meters away when you do it. It doesn't just end there though, because the autocannon also solves the biggest issue plaguing helldivers right now. Enemies with armor. The autocannon does a staggering amount of damage. Being strong enough to take out most medium-sized bots and bugs like the Brood Commander or even the Berserker in about one shot. But with that big damage comes a lot of weapon sway, which you can mitigate by just crouching or going prone, but the best way is to just position yourself far away enough from your enemy so you cannot get hit, but also close enough so you can be accurate. Try to look for that sweet middle ground, but also don't forget that you can scope in to make hitting shots easier. When using the autocannon, it is to your advantage to be mindful of how many rounds you have left. You should always click reload before you hit zero in your mag, because if you don't, the reload animation takes significantly longer to get through. But if you time it properly, the autocannon's reload shouldn't take you any more time than any other gun's reload. But bear in mind, you are going to need to stop, even if it's brief, to finish the animation. Now on to the strategy for the autocannon. Personally, I prefer running the autocannon on bot planets, since that's where its strengths really shine. The autocannon still outperforms most other stratagems on bug worlds, but from my experience, the swarms just get too dense at times for the gun to be really useful without killing yourself too in the process. A good strategy is to clear out the smaller bugs, preventing bug tunnels when you can, then targeting the bigger bugs like the Charger or the Brood Commander. Typically, if I have an opportunity during an engagement, I'll also try to quickly snipe any of the Brood Commanders I see to prevent them from spawning any new warriors. After the Railgun nerf, taking out Chargers has never been more difficult. You could try to use the Flamethrower, which is good for easier missions when you're not getting swarmed by 6 Chargers at a time, or you could use the Chad Cannon and only have to use 2 rounds. Now I'll admit getting the timing down is tricky, but I learned that running towards the Charger but just slightly to one side tends to both stop the Charger and open up a shot to its back two legs, which is what you're going for. The front of the charger is just too armored, so you can't just double tap the front legs like you would with the railgun. Instead, go for the less armored back legs, and if you hit it just right, you'll kill it with two shots. Biotines are a different problem, however. You can't just shoot it in the face, but you can pop each of its green portions, and doing so will prevent it from doing its ranged attack. Bot planets are mostly a cakewalk with the autocannon which makes sense when you remember that it one-shots nearly every bot type. And honestly, most of the missions, I treat my autocannon as my primary, and my actual primary as a utility, taking advantage of the Punisher's staggering ability to knock back any of the bots that get too close. Striders, Berserkers, and all variants of Devastators get one shot if you hit them in their weak spot. Hulks and tanks can be taken out with a couple shots, and most of the defensive building can be taken out if you hit the right spot. For Hulks, you're gonna want to make distance and find cover, only peeking over just enough to shoot them in the eye, which will spark whenever you get a successful hit. And for the tanks, you're gonna want to try to close a distance to try to make going around the swiveling turret easier so you can get to its weak spot. You should also switch to heavy armor with the fortified perks so you can get an additional 30% aim stability when you're crouched or prone, which you'll be doing a lot. Overall, the autocannon serves as both a solid damage dealer and a utility weapon that I cannot recommend giving a try more, and hopefully after this video you feel more equipped than ever. Anyways, that's all I have for this video, and as always, thank you for watching. If you like this video and want to see more Helldiver weapon deep dives, leave a like and comment. See ya!